guys, it's me, Kelly, bringing you another great review. This time, My Little Pony, Equestria Girls, two pack. Who will win the crown? Twilight Sparkle or Sunset Shimmer? You must be new here. These two dolls come together in a two pack, fighting over the crown, which is in between them. In the oversized standard, My Little Pony Equestrian Girls box, we see both of the figures beautifully displayed with Twilight Sparkle at the bottom in her cartoon version with her hair wrapping around. On the side, we get a little side view of Twilight Sparkle with the three symbols that represent her and Sunset Shimmer. On the back, we see the girls as they appear in the movie. There's a reason we look familiar. We're equestrian girls. A magic mirror connects the world of My Little Pony to Cantalot High, where some things change, but two, true friendship remains magical. And then we have Twilight Sparkle, Sunset Shimmer Stole My Crown. Now the only way I can get it back is by for the full formal princess. Underneath Twilight Sparkle we see the rest of the ponies in human form. And then on the other side we see Sunset Shimmer. Twilight Sparkle thinks she can win the fall formal princess over me. Ha! Huh! I'm going to rule this school once I get the crown. Which is the major story point for the Equestrian Girls movie. So let's take these two ladies out of the box and see how they measure up. Where is this Twilight Sparkle? First, I want to go over some of the things that come in the box before I look at the two girls. Just like with all of My Little Pony Equestrian Girls, you will get a club card showing their pictures and their names, nothing else. You will also get the standard sticker sheet with the My Little Pony Equestrian Girl logo, the cutie marks for each of the girls, and then the Equestrian Girls logo close up in each of their colors. And a little pamphlet showing you all of the Equestrian Girls as they appear in the show. And then on the back in their doll forms. They do come with one brush done in a deep pink. Nothing new if you have any of the other Equestrian Girls. Same exact brush. They come with two accessories. Twilight Sparkle has a little hand clutch. Doesn't open. And Sunset Shimmer comes with a little side satchel that she can wear around her waist. And in between them, you do see the crown. And I'll get back to the crown because I'm going to take a look at this versus the crown that comes with the playful pony. We do get a set of wings. These are the same wings that we got with Rainbow Dash, same exact color. 
They're not flimsy at all and they use the peg system so you can put them into your dolls. Now on to the, the two girls that are fighting over the crown. I'm going to start with Sunset Shimmer. What's really nice is they did try and get her outfit to look a lot like what we see in the cartoon. She does have a leather coat on. We have a patent leather jacket. On the show though, it is a white shirt with her cutie mark. Here they gave her a gold shirt, which I actually like a little better. Her skirt mimics exactly what she looks like in the cartoon. Her hair, I wish they would have mixed a little bit of the red on the yellow side and a little bit of yellow on the red side like she has it on the cartoon. She has only the five points of articulation. The head does move left and right, up and down slightly. Her arms are on ball joints. No elbow articulation, no wrist articulation. And she moves at the hips. So for this two pack, it is the basic figure going down her one leg. You do see a flame on her boots. It does have little flames too. And we only see part of her cutie mark on her face right by her eyebrow, by her eye and eyebrows. They made her face look, I think, a little too sweet because she never had a sweet face. All through that movie, you could tell she was a mean girl. I can understand that they want to keep her in the My Little Pony world where we can find good in everything, but I think it would have been nice figuring she is the mean girl to give her that little bit of attitude, especially since the clothes also mimic the attitude. And just like all the others, she does not need a doll stand. If you were going to change her shoes, they're only interchangeable pretty much with other equestrian girls. First on her face is her cutie mark right on the cheek. You see the full cutie mark. They use glitter to give her eyes some glam. They did mix the two colors of purple in her hair, but they could have added that magenta in. Her outfit is very similar to the outfit that she wears at the formal. Very close. But again, she is the standard buck, standard figure. So we only get articulation at the head, arms, and legs. With all equestrian girls, you do need the boots. Otherwise, her feet do look a little weird, just being a peg. She does have the hole in the back. So you can put the wings on her. And the crown um, is a very tight fit around the ears. I don't know why we have this part that comes down. Looks a little weird, especially when you take a look at the crown from the Playful Ponies where it is much simpler. 
and this is the style crown that they used in the show. And with a little what? A little bit of pressure, you can get the playful pony crown to fit on Twilight Sparkle. It's a little bit tight because it wasn't meant for the equestrian girls, but I think it looks better than the crown that we're given. I really don't like that little piece that comes down. And if you wanted to, let's see, wanted to put the wings that come with the two pack on Sunset Shimmer, you could. All of the bucks do have that peg hole. So overall, I'm starting to really like the Equestrian Girl dolls. But I think they should go more towards the deluxe figures like they did with Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. Because taking off Sunset Shimmer's jacket without those extra joints in the elbow will make it hard. Plus, the different poses are limited. Some of the pluses, again, the hair is super soft. They don't sew it down. It's just held down with rubber bands in the packaging, which is a great plus. Most of the clothes are very easy to come on and off. With Sunset Shimmer, you do have to snip a little thread to open up the jacket. And they do come with earrings that if you wanted to put them on the girls, you can have them going either up or down. I think going up makes them look too much like aliens. And the fact that the boots are weighted is a big plus because you don't have to go looking for doll stands. And right now in stores you can find Sunset Shimmer in both of her forms. And one thing I noticed with her hair on the doll form, it's darker and brighter than on the pony form. And the skin color is totally off. So if you're looking to put the two ponies, the pony and the girl together, you will notice a lot of the differences. Whereas with Twilight Sparkle, her skin color is almost the same as her princess form. So you can see they're very close and they did capture the eyes to be the same. The Twilight Sparkle and Sunset Shimmer Race for the Crown 2-pack is in stores now along with the DVD Equestrian Girls. Till next time. Where is this Twilight Sparkle?